Hey, what's up guys? I'm Sonia Looney. I'm an ultra endurance pro mountain biker and today I'm changing out one of my tires for my ride. So rear tire is a bit worn so I'm ready to change it up and I'm pretty excited today because I'm going to try a new tool that I haven't used before. This is the Topeak Tubi Booster so you can boot up your new tubeless tire using this and you can actually take this on road trips. So if you don't have power, you don't have an, an air, air compressor or you don't want to use an air compressor, you can use this to get your tire all booted up. So I'm excited to give it a try today. These are the tools today I'm gonna to use to change my tire. So the Tubi Booster, the valve tool, it makes it a lot quicker if you take the valve out just when you're letting the air out, the Topeak shuttle lever, and some Sans No Tubes tire sealant. So let me show you what's in the box. This is brand new to me too. So I'll just open up the box here. We have a top. So this is just the, the lid to help you um, get the air into your tire, just like a CO2 head. And inside we have the mega chamber. Whoa. You fill this with air. So I'll show you. So this is actually an empty bottle here. Basically what you do, it's pretty cool. You add your own air. So you take your pump head and you stick it onto the top here. It's gonna be so fun. And then you just pump it up. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm gonna use the valve tool to take the valve off. This is for Presta and for Schrader, but most uh, fancy mountain bikes have Presta valve. So all you do is you just twist it out and it lets all the air out all at once. It's just the way I like to do it. It's not really necessary, but it's a good little shortcut. Now I have my shuttle lever. Fortunately, I can get these off with just one tire lever, but sometimes you need two, especially if you're using like a road bike or a gravel bike and even some enduro bike, trail bike stuff. So you just like push, push it off the rim. It's gonna get messy. And we just go. There you go. Fire off in the bushes because it was going to be messy, so that's why you didn't see that step. But it's also recommended that you wipe down the rim tape and wipe down all around the rim because there could be stuff stuck in it. You also want to inspect your wheel to make sure that the rim tape is in good shape because you don't want to see any holes in it. If so, you need to replace the rim tape. Got my sealant now. This is what makes your tire more resistant to getting flats whenever you're tubeless. It actually seals the holes. So you can use a measuring um, scoop, but this has pretty much about two ounces left in it. I usually just eyeball it, especially if I'm not doing it for racing, but I'll just pour it in. It looks about good to me. And then I just put the tire back on. Try not to make a mess. As a hack, I actually use my legs to hold it in place because sometimes the tire can start coming undone. And you also want to tighten it. A lot of times the tire will come unseated or just like start popping off and that's really annoying when that happens. So you can see I'm using my hand to fold the tire over to make the, the bead tighter so that I can push it back in with the tire lever. Changing tires can be intimidating if you haven't done it before, but it's actually not that hard. So it, it does take practice. I've changed hundreds of tires. <laughs> I've been racing for 15 years. There you go. Now it's just time to inflate the tire and then we can head out on a ride. All right, so let's give this a try. It's my first time. So I'll tighten this down. All right, so I've pumped this amazing bottle full, 150 PSI of air. So now all I have to do is inflate my tire here. So see, I've never done this before. This is my first try. Make sure it's open. Wow. That is booting up just like a charm. See the tire fully seeds. Okay, let's have a look. All right, so what you wanna look for to make sure that your tire is seated, I'm not sure about other brands, but with Maxxis, probably with other brands too, you can see this little line that is raised you're gonna look, look for it following, and if you see that you don't see the line anymore, that means the tire is still inside the rim. So you wanna add air until you see the line. So it looks like from here all the way to here, the tire hasn't completely seated. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my floor pump. I'm going to finish the job just because there's a little bit more modulation. So this is a different pump. This is the Mountain X, the Jobel Mountain X. It's a new pump this year from Topeak. As you can see, this one goes up to 60 PSI only, which means that with the wider barrel here, it only takes a few pumps to actually get to the PSI you want for your mountain bike ride. And for me with tubeless, I'm typically running, well, if I'm doing cross country, like 20 to 23 PSI. If I'm doing enduro, maybe like 25 to 28 PSI because you hit stuff so much harder and faster. So I'm just gonna seed the tire the rest of the way using this pump. Baxter is gonna make sure that I do it right. So that was pump, that was at about 20 PSI when I started. I probably need to get to maybe 30. See, you heard that noise. That means that it's probably seated all the way. Have a look. Awesome. So now when you have a look, and you see the line goes all the way. Tire is seated. Now we're ready to go shred some trails.